Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another brewery showcase on the channel. Look at all this beer. Yeah, that's a lot of beer. That's a <laughs> lot of beer. It's been a while since we've done a brewery showcase, but today we're doing this as a brewery showcase because it's a brewery that's quite unfamiliar to both us, but also I think a lot of people in Europe and the US, which are the people who watch us the most. Mm. But this is uh, what's front of the channel, the, where we have the most subscribers. And... Um, this is from Mountain Culture, all the way from Australia. Super fresh. This is super freshly shipped. This is crazy. This is the highest rated brewery in Australia at the moment. And they send out this care package for us to try. But yeah. not on their own 100%. It's also through the influence or help of Sam. Uh, Sam's been following the channel for a very long time. And he gets up at like three in the morning to watch live streams whenever we do them. It's nuts. Dedicated dude. Uh, awesome dedicated dude. So thanks a ton for being such a great fan, man. It's awesome and you, you know, it's awesome that you, you, you know, you comment, you follow along and you, the fact that you stay up for these streams is insane. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, get up. Oh, get up. <laughs> when you live on the other side of the yeah. world. Um, so he got in talks with me and said like, you know, I, I'd love for you to try some of this stuff and I'll talk to the guys at Mountain Culture and you know, they, they hooked us up with a set of beer, which mm. will be fun to try. So the, you know, most highly rated brewery in Australia. Yes. Really stoked about this because I can't remember the last time I tried an Australian beer. I mean, Have I you ever tried I, I don't think I've ever had Australian beer, to be honest. And that I, I feel kind of ashamed. But now we get something that's really fresh. Really and fresh, yeah, too. It's, yeah. Like these hoppy beers are like one month old max. Yeah. So. And it's from Australia. Yeah. It's nuts the fact that they're this fresh, you know. Yeah. I remember back in the day we got a little bit of little creatures and stuff like that, and they were not fresh at all. No. Uh, but I think that's about the only thing I've had. In re I had some boat rocker too, and not a lot, but I've had a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but we Let's have a whole dive in. Yeah, we have a, a gonna, lot of beer. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna start off with this one, which is Al Shafa, which is their decoction lager. It's four point two percent decoction mashed lager, and. What is amazing is on the label is Ashafa, the name of the beer, but it goes into the entire process Tons of making the of beer. Information. They talk about the yeast they use, using a local producer of yeast, the whole mashing process, why this takes a lot of time, history about making these beers. It's awesome because it's simple artwork, but it's like if you're a nerd, you can really dive in. Mm. So I think that's really but cool. But it's a nightmare to read. To <laughs> it's a lot, you know, it's a yeah. lot. But yeah. Uh, we got it poured here, and that yeah. is super pale. Yes. Uh, this was lagered for a very long time. Uh, what, how, five weeks? Several weeks. Several they weeks. They said. Oh, yeah. So probably five, uh, six, seven. I don't know. Maybe more, at least more than two, because yeah. yeah. several it has to be. Yeah. More than it two. has to be more than two, right? So. But it, it looks very nice. It's a pale golden yellow color. Yeah. It looks like it's crazy pale. Mm. Um, it looks maybe a bit paler to a lot of at least German lagers, which is what we have the most. Mm. Uh, but it looks nice. Whitehead, let's check out the aroma. Oh, mm. it's, and you know what? It's really like light fresh, and bright. Yeah, and f lots of like almost like a, it's weird to say bright grain, but we just had Gensella, which is like more yeah. like baked bread. This, this is, is most is like crackery. fresh, yeah, crackery and, and fresh grain. Yeah, yeah. like it, it doesn't have that like almost like baked dried grain. grain. Yeah, like Gensella was like really freshly baked bread. This is like crackers and it's like dry yeah grain yeah <laughs> this almost to me smells more like a craft interpretation of uh like Super euro clean. pale lockers mm. uh, like it, it's got more it, like it doesn't have this distinct kind of like hop character and and and, and crazy breadiness as in some classic uh, german pilsner beers but it reminds me of like a more well-refined european pale lager. yeah yeah like you know it's it, European pale lager. It sounds bad when you say it like that. No, no, but I get, you see, I get what you because mean. Because it's so light. Yeah, it's so it, light. It doesn't have a refined, hefty malt backbone or anything. Mm. It's just yeah. like super Again, light. It's like yeah. smelling crackers yeah. from, 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 but also a bit lemony and, and limey. slightly limey. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm getting. I think lemon lime super is the clean. Most, yeah, super clean. Super clean. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, totally like European pale lager. More so than Pilsner mm. for me. Super clean and super light. And damn, you could chug that. Uh, yeah, total chugging. crusher. Super you could chug it, mate. This would be perfect down in the Australian sun. <laughs> like in um, 30 degrees. 
Oh, yeah, Pro, I think it's more than that. Yeah. In a lot of places, it does have some snappy bitterness. Nothing crazy, but Not there's a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of a floral edge as well, but it's super light and bright. Um, again, it's definitely more crackery than bready. Yeah, and it's slightly like airy, and lemony and limey, like the hop character. Yeah, and it has like a lightly, almost like airy mouthfeel. It's like yeah. because it's fairly carbonated too. Yeah, but yeah, crackery, nice carbonation. Lemony, it's super clean. A lot of you know? white pepper on the aftertaste and some bitterness to disrupt yeah. or just like you know. Yeah. Balance out some of the the, the crackery bready malt or mainly crackery malt. But I definitely see why you want to brew a lager like this for that hot climate. Yeah, yeah, because it's a total crusher. It really yeah. is like a more hop centrated interpretation and just more well made mm. interpretation of, of, of Euro pale <laughs> lager to me. Because it reminds me I, of I drinking. Could, I could drink this within ten minutes. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, like it reminds me of drinking a continental lagers, European continental or European lagers, when you go traveling, whatever, just like they taste like this taste is much more well refined, well produced. Yeah. Um, it's it's really good. Actually. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's not like mind blowing. No, lager, but, but it's nice. It's lager. just uber clean yeah. and light malt character and it, this it, bright citrusy. It almost character. reminds me of when American breweries have tried to make a craft interpretation of macro lager or mm. light lager. Yeah. Because uh, it's really light and airy and, 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 you know, super drinkable. So it reminds me a bit of something like that. And I think that's also fits in a bit with a lot of the, the uh, Australian market in terms mm. of these kind of beers because they do these like extra dry pills yeah. or lagers and whatnot. So, but this, I, I think this really is good. a great, you know, showcase of what they can do. Yeah, so far. Because it's so good. just, it's uber clean. Yeah, yeah. It's no off flavors, no nothing. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. awesome. But um, yeah, let's try and jump over to a, would you paleo. call that? A, yeah, yeah, paleo. House, I, paleo, house, paleo. house beer. Mm. So status quo. And, status and, quo. And, and, this, and I think the hops are kind of. Rotating. Sweet, yeah, rotating. The so. only one that has to find hops is uh, is a Num Num Juice yeah. here, which is a double IPA, but we're starting out of this. This is hazy New England Pale Ale on 5.6%. You know, very beach kind of town look mm. to the artwork. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's called Status Quo. So looks, you know, a lot like what you'd expect from this kind of beer. Yeah. A hazy, quite bright, which I like. Smells looking juicy golden from yellow. Here. Fluffy white head on yep. it. Not a, a lot, but yeah, let's check it out. Mm. Mm, very nice. Actually, uh, quite popping for five. Five point six. Yeah. Very dank. Yeah, dank and, and dank. herbal. Yeah. It has like a bit of that. Uh, I some sometimes mosaic? talk. Mosaic. I'm definitely smelling mosaic or Simcoe. Yeah, something I get. My, maybe what I'm really also noticing. Sometimes I talk about aloe vera, like this creamy herbal mm. thing. Yeah. I'm getting a bit of that. Yeah, but it could I, be but mosaic, I'm, but it's also I'm really pretty oniony. sure there's mosaic or some in here. Yeah, because it's really oniony yeah. too. It's not just dank and but also the slightly blueberry dank. I think maybe kind of Simcoe thing. could be more because for me it's more maybe pineapple. But the thing is, it's both Simcoe and mosaic have very similar characters. It's just mosaic is derived from Simcoe, but I think like mm -hmm. it has like a bit of pineapple and then it has like a lot of that earthy, slightly cat, catty, uh, catty pineapple. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and like yeah, just like a little bit of earthiness to it. Yeah, but I'm definitely getting onion. like a blueberry, slightly danky. Yeah, it's for me sometimes it it can be very tough to distinguish if it's mosaic or simcoe. Yeah. But I'm pretty. It's one if, of the if, two. If, I can, yeah, I'm I I'm, I'm I'm one hundred percent sure one of these hops or those hops are in in this beer. It does smell it. Yeah. Like like it maybe could be both. One of the two. Maybe. <laughs> you never know. It yeah. smells nice though. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, really refreshing. That creamy herbal thing really sticks to me. Mm. This tastes like they use a lot of hops in this because yeah. it has like that slightly numbing feel in the tongue. Yeah, um, yeah it's quite popping, lightly. you know. It, it's yeah, it does not hold back on anything. It's oh. very. I will say it doesn't. It's not to the same level as some of the really, really crazy good hazy pale ales we've had. It's not as but it's a, flavor no. wise. But as a you know regular release beer, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it, I think the blueberry kind of note is more on the flavor. There is mm -hmm. like mosaic esque vibes yeah. going on, and then definitely also pineapple. 
there's some grapefruit as well and a bit of grapefruit kind of zestiness. Yeah. And then it has like this herbal nuance on the back end. Not as dank, but it's like dry as well and it's a little bit bitter. It's not all juice, which is very nice. It, it's definitely not all juice and it's not just all sweet. And yeah, I think, I think the mosaic and I think it's probably mosaic. Yeah, I'm leaning more be. into mosaic than yeah. Simcoe. But let's jump on to the IPA. So this is a faint hearted, a double dry hopped hazy IPA on 6.8%. This one we also don't know how. No, it's also ro rotating. But, but they do say that this will taste of a bittersweet grapefruit juice. So it's not all, it's this big citrus hop cake. So citrus hop spec. cake kick. Oh. <laughs> but with some of the bitterness to remind us that this is still actually beer. Man, okay. that sounds like our alley. Like it's not gonna be all gushing juice, but yeah, it looks very. Oh, it looks bright. like gushing juice. <laughs> yeah. But but it's quite bright. It's not super dark. Yeah, it's it's you know all of these are towards the brighter colors in terms of IPAs. Yeah. Um, it's not like those yeah. crazy dark ones. It looks like it's gonna be a bit more bright. And if they say that on the label, I'm guessing it's all gonna have maybe some old school hops too. Yeah. But yeah, it looks nice. Golden orange, maybe more of a golden yellow, white head. So yeah. The aroma. Yeah, definitely grapefruit. Mm -hmm. It's it's very zesty and limey and yeah. citrusy and lemony. Yeah. And also it, more orangey than it's, this one. It's mm -hmm. very much like status quo though, I think like in terms of uh, 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 the hop character. Not yeah. in terms of the defined nuances, but the hop character is similar in terms of like that slightly herbal whatever kind of vibe. It's <laughs> Actually, smell these side by side. This one smells like it's an imperialized version. Oh yeah, it totally does. <laughs> it, it smells like it's the same beer imperialized, to be honest. Yeah, or imperial, it turned into an IPA. Yeah. Oh I'm, yeah, sorry, not imperialized, but you know, bumped up. Lots of lemon and lime uh, it, on this one. Like it's really bright, citrusy. If, if this is like, you grapefruit. know, if, 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 if this isn't like a similar hop combo, I'm yeah. very surprised. It must be. But the thing is, there's a lot of new hops that can generate similar mm. flavors. Yeah, yeah so, it's not because it's it know, could that definitely unique, be but but I'm again I'm I'm very much into that mosaic or at least Simcoe. It's just so lemony and limey. I'm thinking there must but be some really dank. bright hops in. It. Yeah, it's, it, I don't think it's crazy dank, but no, simply no. towards the dank side. And then they, there's like grapefruit and like pithy citrus yeah, yeah. vibes, and it's, it definitely has like a West Coast esque flair, yeah, which is yeah. nice. It's, it's kind really of bright, good. but also a bit dank and slightly forest berry, blueberry-esque. Yep, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Really bright. Pin yeah. bright. Yeah. Really lemony and limey. There's a little bit of, like, I, it's not crazy bitter, but there's it's kind of like what... It seems like it's modeled after what Monkish does. Uh, because, you know, yeah, it's but I will not still, still, still say that it's pretty, you know, pronounced in flavor. It's still pronounced in flavor, mm. but I don't think it's as pronounced mm. still. It's just, it seems stupid to compare everything to Monkish because we uh, but I'm, I'm just that, such a Monkish, it's but it's vein. towards that vein because it's like yeah. pin bright and it's dank. There's a bit of bitterness. Like this really tastes like if they work on this even more, this could be crazy yeah. because it's like super pin bright and super like... Tart hop character, it's not like no. overripe with gushing juiciness. There's a little bit of bitterness. Yeah. But again, it's more towards like, that kind of West Coast interpretation of, of, of hazy beer. Yeah. It's like grapefruit, lemon, lime with like just a hint or twist of dankness. Mm -hmm. And maybe an edge of passion fruit mm -hmm. to it as well. Like yeah. tart, bright, tropical yeah. fruit. Let's move over to the one where we actually know the hops. Yeah. Another limited release. This is Num Num <laughs> Juice. I love the name of that one. And this is with a Citroen Amarillo. So a very classic, there we go, <laughs> hop combo. Yeah. Amarillo, you know, Citra. This, what I think is like more like classic juice of beer. Yeah. They also say they have a plentiful amount of oats in here. It looks nice as well. Yeah. More orange, more dark, yes. more hazy. It's got the aroma. Definitely more orange. Yeah, and much more orange. And, and it's classic Amarillo because it's mm. got like a lot of that dry orange. Yeah. Like that like pithy, dry uh, citrus rind. Yeah. And like it reminds me of double citrus. dry hop with no chain. At least from the aroma. From monkish. 
Double that, with no chain. Yeah. Um, because that was really orangey, like super West Coast oh yeah, yeah. orange. Actually, yeah, totally. Because that wasn't no way, like that was almost like Monkeys did a more old school approach yeah, to yeah. doing their IPAs. It, because it, it has load of that Amarillo character. That is very similar to this yeah. one, from at least what I remember. Yeah, totally agree. Now, I, was, I was just thinking Double Driver. Nah, yeah, the one with... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, was uh, the, uh, Doom the MF Doom? The, yeah, MF label. Doom. Yeah, yeah. and I can Tribute. totally see that. Yeah, yeah. It it has that like very citrus rindy and orangey yeah. and tangerine and grapefruit, just more classic IPA character, which mm. that one had too. But which is the reason why we didn't like it as much as Foggy or Foggy yeah. or Window. But it's 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 similar to something. But it's like this has. Do you get like it, it has like an underlaying or kind of another layer just underneath? I think this has a layer of earthiness, just like the rest. Like there's some oniony, earthy kind of garlicky tones. Of that blueberry thing. Like, is this brewery like a massive fan of mosaic and Simcoe? <laughs> but it says Citra, and, and, yeah. and but the thing but is, it also some of the Citra new, yeah. just going really dank. And the thing is, with some of the Citra, you know, sometimes Citra is just re you know regular overripe juicy stuff. And then sometimes their citrus is just like super bright and dank. Yeah. The difference in crops in some of these hops are crazy. Yeah. It smells very nice. I think this smells really good. Yeah, I think so. It smells yeah. more intense and, you know, yeah. popping, but it's also a double draw hybrid IPA. Mm. Yeah. Much bigger burst of. It's really sweet, though. Mm. Wow. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Like big burst of sweet citrus and sweet orange, but it is a sweet beer. Mm. I think it's a bit too sweet for its own good compared to the I, others. I think these I were a bit more balanced. I like the hop flavor on this, but it's like the sweetness is a bit too intense for me. It's a bit, bit maybe too much of this like sweet tangerine, clementine. Also, just a bit of like almost it's almost like sugar coated sweet citrus. Yeah, because it's like yeah, oh, like sweetness. slightly overripe tangerine. Like yeah. It, yeah. it could use maybe just a bit more bite and something that counteracted that kind of. But it's it's very similar to uh, to with no double dry with no chain, just sweeter, and it maybe sweeter. most and, and and not maybe not as like popping on at least on the flavor. The aroma is very similar, uh, but the flavor it's it's yeah it's a, just a bit sweeter, more malt centric. Um, yeah. Again, it has like a more of a classic also New England kind of juicy, uh, overripe kind of fruity ester thing going on, mm. whereas these are a bit more fun because they're more bright and singy. Uh, I'll probably and prefer these. I totally agree. My actually. favorite is definitely the, the mm. uh, IPA. I won't say that e either of the beers are like mind-blowing and crazy and I'm just like losing my mind, but they're just really, really well-made beers. Mm. And I can totally see why this is the highest rated brewery in Australia because you know, it reminds me a lot of what uh, the highest rated breweries are doing in like the UK or mm -hmm. uh, um, Denmark for that matter. It's, yeah. it's definitely in a similar, similar vein, you know, it's, this could totally be uh, ale farm beers. Yeah. You know, something along Maybe a bit lines. brighter. Yeah, yeah, just a notch brighter. Yeah, I, I, I think these are, are probably a bit more but then again, centric. But yeah, but then again, something like this, this is yeah. a double IPA. Yeah. That's not as bright as the one we just had. No. That's true. So it just depends on the beer a lot too. Yeah. But like something, some when going back to something like status quo, I'm getting a bit of this kind of diesel-y. I've, I've been getting that so like much gasoline. in a lot of like, yeah. Gasoline, I've been getting that a lot yeah. in dank IPAs and super bright. And, that, I, and I kind of like it because I, I like, like the smell too. of gasoline, but it, but it has of, to be light. Mm. But, but it kind of confirms my uh, idea of it probably containing Simcoe or Mosaic. Because, mm. yeah, I just feel like it has that, but it also has brightness too. It's not only those deep, you know, dark hop flavors. I, I, I think I'll tie the status quo with the uh, faint hearted. More like 91, 92 for those. I think they're very nice, uh, you know, double dry hop, hazy IPA and, and uh, I mean, a hazy pale ale. They're not like the best of the best I've ever had, but they're really fucking nice uh as for the decoction lager probably an 88 and no 89 and then maybe yeah. 88 for the for the double ipa because i'd rather drink the lager than the double ipa hmm 
Yeah. I'll something like that. It's a very nice double IPA. It's just like, it's really sweet. Mm. And that's my biggest beef. The reason why I often, you know, get like eh, turned away a bit from New England IPAs is because it goes really sweet. Yeah. And that's why I've been nuts with the, the, the West Coast approach to the style where you bring in bitterness and dankness. Yeah. I'll probably go, I think these are at least a 92, 93. And the lager is probably an 89 to me, and, and the double IPA is also an 89. Yeah. Yeah. It's something like that. I mean, yeah. I think I think these with just maybe a bit more work could go into that world class I think so area. too. I, th I think in general. I think this is, you know, it's harder to brew really good pale ales or straight IPAs, you know, regarding yeah. wow facts. And I actually think these are more popping and more flavorsome or distinct than this one. Yeah, so, and that's you know, and uh, a good accomplishment. And it might also be because of the hops. Yeah, yeah, but which yeah. we don't know. Mm. But uh, yeah, this was fun. Yeah, absolutely. But, thank you, Sam. Thanks so much, Sam, and also thanks a ton to Mountain Culture for sending yeah. these out because you know they shipped it all the way from Australia. Yeah, and it, I'm amazed that it went like this smooth quick, and smooth, no customs, no nothing. Really usually, fresh, and usually when beer comes from this far away, it's you know. It means, a bit of a yeah, it means trouble. It means, no, no, not necessarily trouble. <laughs> no, it means but the customs going to be like, hey, Which yeah. is trouble. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. it made it through. So really fun to try. So, and uh, the biggest thanks is really for Sam. Because, you know, without him, this wouldn't happen. So no. thanks a ton, man. Thanks for having us try some of the best beer in Australia at the moment. Absolutely. So if you guys have got the chance to try any mountain culture, let us know what you thought of the beers. Have you had any of these specifically? Let us know what you thought of those. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we are going to say cheers. In some decoction lager. Some decoction, of course. We're lager boys. Yeah. And see you guys in another brewery showcase. Cheers.